Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to set up Nucleus on your PC. Um, I'm using Nucleus to play split screen uh, Skyrim. The reason I'm making this video is because uh, when I was trying to set it up, I didn't really find any uh, straightforward tutorials on how to do it. Uh, so this is sort of like an updated uh, tutorial, if you will. So the first few things you're going to need are uh, Skyrim, obviously, uh, Skyrim Special Edition, the Steam version, and then you're going to need Skyrim Together, which is a mod for Skyrim. Uh, I will link a tutorial down below on how to set that up. Uh, the guy that made the mod actually made a video and it's a really easy video to follow, so I will link that below. You'll also need an extraction tool like uh, 7-Zip or WinRAR is the one I'm using right here. I use it for like uh, emulators and stuff, but uh, it works good for uh, extracting all the stuff from the, the zip file that you get. So first off, we're gonna go uh, to Google. Um, I'll probably have this link below in the description. Um, this is just like a, a GitHub page, and then you're gonna wanna click here on the GitHub release page. It's gonna bring you to this page, which uh, these assets are what you're gonna need. So um, what you wanna do is first uh, download the installer right here and then download the Nucleus app. I'm not gonna do it, I already have it downloaded. I didn't wanna delete it and re-download it. So um, yeah, you're gonna download these two right here. They'll just show up in your downloads uh, in here. Um, I just moved them to the desktop and then I put the installer in the uh, actual folder, the zip folder. So when you download Nucleus, when you download this app here, it's gonna come in a zip folder, as you can see here. So when it is in your downloads, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, right click on it like this. Sorry, you're gonna to wanna to click on it like this, right click, and then whatever your extraction tool is, mine's a WinRAR, and then you're gonna to wanna to extract here. But you're gonna to wanna to put it in its own folder. Uh, so like this, I have mine in uh, a Nucleus co-op folder, and the website tells you um, not to have it have it in the same folder as like uh, where all your games are stored. It tells you not to do that. Um, it actually tells you to put it in a folder called Nucleus in your uh, hard drive. So you just put it in here in a new folder like this and just name it Nucleus. And then you'd put that zip folder in there and then extract it in there. So uh, everything would be in here for you. But I have mine saved to my desktop uh, just cause I wanted it that way. And then when you open it, you're going to want to click the installer and then it'll have uh, a thing pop up, say, to download it. Uh, you're just going to want to let it do its thing. Um, and then eventually it'll open for you. And then this is the app itself right here. You can make a shortcut to your desktop if you wanted to make it easier. Um, but when you double click, it'll it'll give me this pop up because I don't have it saved in that, in that way right there. What I was saying before, we have it saved to Nucleus and then Nucleus Co-op uh, in your hard drive. I don't have it saved that way, so you're going to get this pop up. But then once you press OK, and there you go. See, it's uh, all set up here. So to actually uh, get Skyrim together uh, set up, you're going to want to download it and everything from the tutorial I have linked below. Uh, you're going to want to run it before you do this. Make sure it actually runs on your PC. Uh, and then to actually get it on here, you're going to want to go here to download game handler. Uh, type in the game Skyrim. And then press the search. That would be this guy right here. Oh, sorry. Uh, you click on it and then press show more information. Uh, you press download handler. So then you'll get this pop up um, when you press download and then it'll pop up over here on this side right here. And you're going to want to press yes. And then you're going to have to uh, go into your files uh, to where exactly your game is saved. Or uh, uh, most Steam games are saved in here in your hard drive. So you go program files, uh, you go to Steam go to Steam apps and, and then it'll be in here. Uh, you go down, there's Skyrim. Skyrim Together Reborn is gonna be saved in data. So you're gonna go in there, um, Skyrim Together Reborn, and then right here, that's, uh, so that basically directs this right here to open or to launch Skyrim Together. So you're gonna wanna click on that and then press open. Uh, I'm gonna press no because I already have it saved um, but 
that you won't get that pop up when you do it for the first time. So then, so that's all good. And then it should be added over here. So as you can see, it's actually two to four players, but I believe from what I was seeing, you can actually do up to like 16 players. Um, so as you can see, I have, I have a dual monitor set up here. This is my left screen and this is my right screen. Um, I use, you have to use uh, like a game pad for this to work. Uh, I think there there is a way to use your keyboard. Um, I don't know how to set it up. I I was reading on some Reddit pages that you can actually use your keyboard. Um, so if you wanted to do that uh, for like one of the split screen players, you could check out, uh, just try Googling that. I can't really find anything on it. Uh, that's like a really cut and dry way to do it. So, um, but what I use is a, a dual sense controllers for the PS5. I use two of them, um, but you can use, like I said, up to four, which is just absolutely amazing. I just need to say, uh, Split screen Skyrim is like a, a dream come true for me because I had uh, three brothers growing up, so uh, and it's something we always dreamed about <laughs> playing Skyrim. So uh, I just really wanted to make this video just in case any of you guys out there uh, were thinking that if this is at, at all possible, I just want to let you know that it is, and I'm very excited that it is. So um, to use the Dual Sense controllers, I'm sure most of you guys know, uh, you usually you need a program so nothing's popping up here even though uh, i have them plugged into my pc if you use an xbox controller i'm sure it'll just pop up but uh, i have another program called ds4r windows which basically just tells my pc that i'm using ps4 controllers um, so i'm just gonna run that and then the two controllers the two controllers that i have plugged in are gonna pop up here those are my two controllers and as you guys can see uh my two controllers popped up here. So uh, my right monitor is my good monitor. My left one's kind of the crappy one. So I'm gonna put myself over here and I'm gonna put player two over here. But say you only have one screen, um, you can do this right here. So this little guy right here is how you split up the screen. So you can choose however, when, however way you wanna split it. So if you wanted to do uh, a horizontal split screen, you can do it like that. Or if you wanted to do uh, vertical split screen. I think for Skyrim, it'd probably be best uh, for horizontal split screen. Um, but uh, yeah, if you were playing with four players, you could do like this, which is just absolutely incredible. And then uh, I, I don't know if this is intentional for us uh, or like meant for Skyrim per se, but you can play with six people. You can play with eight people. Uh, you can play with uh, 16 people. I don't know if that's actually possible <laughs> to do on uh, Skyrim, but uh, it is possible to do on here. So, and then when you want to reset it, you just got to click through all of them and you can customize them too. Uh, so if you needed to, if you wanted to have it set up a certain way uh, and then manual, you can put the screen literally wherever you want and then uh, stretch it out like that. And then, but uh, like I said, I'm just gonna do like a dual monitor setup. But for this video, I will do uh, the vertical or the horizontal. Um, so when you start up uh, Skyrim Together Reborn, you're going to uh, have to create two different saves. So each of you, I'll just uh, press, this is how you start the game here. Uh, you'll have to press play right here. Uh, well clicked onto the game you wanna play, press play. And then yeah. Uh, just let it load up here quick and you have to give it a second it'll launch two different ver uh, two different um, it'll run two different instances of the game um, you'll just have to let it uh, set itself up quickly here so you can see the first instance has opened up uh, now we just gotta wait for the second one to open up sometimes it takes a little bit um, but I can Move up and down on here with my main controller. There we go. Okay, now you can see uh, both instances are open. Um, so one ca controller. Holy fuck. So as you guys can see, the, both instances are open right now. 
Um, one controller is controlling the top one, and the other controller is controlling the bottom one. So me and my brother uh, made two different saves yesterday. But when you guys are starting, you're going to want to press new on both and uh, create new characters and everything. Go through Helgen before you do anything. And as soon as you get out of the cave of Helgen, you'll be able to play together. Um, so uh, I would uh, suggest making your character's name something that you'll remember. Um, my guy's name is Pepper. So I'm going to load Pepper. <laughs> uh, I'm going to load Pepper here. And then my brother, open his name here. His name is Don't Matter, because I asked him what name he wanted, and he says it doesn't matter. So I will scroll up here. He's going to load in. And as you guys can see, both uh, both screens right now are running 60 FPS. Um, before you start up the game, I would recommend opening Skyrim and just set your resolution and everything to a little bit lower, just so you can get a smoother experience for both screens. Um, but if you do have two separate screens, um, one can run way better than the other. Uh, so I would just recommend playing with uh, the, the graphics and stuff before before um, actually playing. Any friend of Raylos is a friend of mine. Okay, so when you're ready to join each other, if you guys have played Skyrim together before, you just want to press your right control. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. You just want to press right control. Uh, I just have to restart the game there because sometimes you are going to run into some issues um, where when you go to open up the menu, it's not going to work. All I did was uh, closed Nucleus by holding control and then Q. Um, that's to completely shut everything down when you guys are done playing. Um, so control Q is to close out the game and that's what I just had to do there because it wasn't letting me open the connect menu. Um, but when you guys, like I said, when you guys are ready to play, um, you're going to want to press your right control uh, to open up the connect menu. You're going to want to press connect and then you're going to want to type in this address right here. Uh, so that's just a local IP um, that anyone, say you had a brother in the other room with a computer if you guys both typed in this you're going to connect to the same server so all you got to do is press connect it's going to give you a little shout there it says successfully connected and then i'm going to close that one and then to open up on the other one all you're going to do is hold alt and then press your tab and that's going to highlight the other screen and then you're going to want to do the exact same thing just press connect and then now 127.0.0.1 Connect, and there you go. Now me and uh, Don't Matter are right in front of each other. You guys can play through the entire game uh, together. I would watch some videos on what you can and can't do when playing Skyrim together. Like uh, uh, only one player can really accept quests, and the other per people have to like sort of follow them around. But it's still so so fun. Um, this really is like a, a dream come true for me. Uh, I wish I had this when I was uh, way younger, but you know, now that I have it now, I can't really complain. So uh, I just hope uh, some of you guys out there are young and can enjoy this with some of your friends or something. So um, yeah, if you guys like the video, uh, I'll have everything linked below that you'll uh, need. If you guys like the video, make sure you uh, just drop a like and just leave me a comment saying uh, who you're gonna be playing this with and yeah, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one.